Hey everybody and welcome back. This is um, Black Dog and we're going to go log into Minecraft and do some more. Um, just before we log in here, I want to take the time to let you know, of course, we've been doing some mining off screen here. Uh, if you decide that you don't like that, please feel free to let me know. At this time, we've done our mining off screen though, and we're just going to go ahead and log in. We're going to build a couple of items. Now, I was talking about building red power, but I was taking a look at the red power recipes, and I'll actually show you what I'm talking about here. Um, let's just hit E here. Now, the one thing that I was actually looking at building was... I can't remember the name of it. Don't you hate it when that happens? You go to build an item, and you're like, I can't remember the name of it. I know it's after all this stuff. Um, there it is. It is the kinetic generator. So I was actually looking at building this kinetic generator, and as you can see that the recipe here seems fairly simple. Blutricity motor, blue alloy ingot, piece of brass, and a couple iron. Seems fairly simplistic. And then you go into the blue electric motor and you start realizing, oh, there's another blue alloy, some more iron, and two of these copper coils. Now you click into the copper coils and you realize it takes four fine copper wire each. So that's eight of those total. And of course, four iron bars each and another iron ingot. I wasn't concerned about most of this. I clicked on the fine copper wire and saw this. A diamond draw plate. Now if we take a look at a diamond draw plate here, it requires a diamond panel, which requires a diamond slab and a diamond handsaw. So the diamond handsaw itself is two pieces of diamond, two pieces of iron, and three sticks. Not too, too bad. But in order to get a diamond slab, you need to take a block of diamond and cut it in half. And you get two diamond slabs. So what you're looking at here is when you go back to this, a diamond panel is from a diamond slab, you get two diamond panels. So that means for every block of diamond we can get four panels. Now each one of these diamond draw plates requires one panel. So that means one diamond will get us four of these uh, diamond draw plates. Now, the worst part about these diamond draw plates is that with four of them, I can get the fine, four fine copper wires. That means I need two blocks of diamond. That's 18 diamond in order to get this thing completed. So I think we're going to wait on that and maybe try something else. So I just want to show you around and the changes that were made while I was mining. Uh, first of all, we put up these, um, these um, barrels. They're from factorization. Um, and uh, they basically will hold 64 stacks of 64 and I uh, use this to hold my inventory and the reason for that is because as you can see Nicolite 10 stacks of 64 like that's uh, pretty bad we come over here we got a few more and some of these are fairly small but 14 stacks of 64 cobblestone um, that's quite a bit we've got four stacks of 64 for uh, that's coal and so this is what I've mined so far. You see that I've refined some of it, maybe made a little bit of blue iron ingot, but I still have a lot of stuff to refine. So as far as iron goes, I've got tons of iron. I'm not really worried about that. But I only found 10 diamonds. That's in four hours of mining. Um, I think I just got into a bad spot. Didn't manage to find very many. Now, I found very, lots of rubies and sapphires and stuff, but unfortunately, that's nowhere close to the total 20 diamond needed in order to make that item. So, as you can see, we found some other stuff. I found some tracks, found tons of string, and I built some of these canvases. Now, I'm going to show you the canvases here, because I was planning on using the uh, kinetic generator. Unfortunately, I don't have the parts for the kinetic generator, so these canvases are kind of useless for now. Eventually, I think we'll get there. Just got to find some more diamond. This chest is currently empty. Now, down here is our mining area. I'm just going to quickly go down there and show you what, what, we, what we've done. So, we've got several different stop points. Uh, this is our first stop point here at about level 45. That's for copper. Next stop point here is about uh, 40. Um, this gets us a good mix of tin and copper, which is kind of nice. This stop here will get us mostly everything else. It's in about the 25 range, 27 range. It bounces around. Now, the nice part about here is, as you can see, I found the old railways. Now the nice part about this is the fact that you can go around and collect a whole bunch of stuff. And that's where I got the rail stuff from. And then uh, if we hop back on here, we can continue going down. This stop here was just part of the old railway while I was going through. That's more of the old railway. But then I realized, hey, I'm at the perfect level. So now I started just digging in random directions here. If we look this way, I went that way. I went that way. I went that way. 
and basically what I was doing was just trying to look for diamond. Down here is where I found the tin diamond. So as you can see, we've been digging on many, many, many different levels. Um, and I found lots of stuff, but didn't find very much diamond. So the hope is we'll find more diamond in the future. Um, for today, I think we're just going to make some, uh, some uh, I can't even speak today, some factorization equipment. We need to be able to, what would be referred to in industrial craft, macerate our ores. So, the problem is that if we take a look at the macerator, which does very, very well, it requires a lot of stuff. Now, I probably have enough stuff to make it, but I really don't want to start with, uh, with, with IC2, or industrial craft. Um, I think the best way to go here is to start with a pulverizer. Now, it can't quite do everything that the... Uh, that the macerator can do, but it runs on buildcraft energy, and as you can see, much easier to make. Requires a piston, a couple of flint, some copper, requires a redstone reception coil. This is just a gold with uh, two redstone, and then it requires a machine frame, which is just some iron, gold, and glass. So I think that is where we're going to start, is just with one of those. Fairly easy to make, and um, I think uh, can be very good for what we need. So I'm just going to shift left click here, grab a couple of sand, and we'll go ahead and toss those in the oven. And <coughs> there we go. Eight times, oh, I want two more. I like doing things in groups of eight. That way we can make sure that we have a little bit extra, which is always nice. While we're waiting for that, we will go ahead and take a look at the other stuff that we plan on building. So we're going to build the pulverizer. And then after the pulverizer, which is 2002, all right, we need to build the other stuff. So I'm just going to go, where are we at, 750? I'm still at 750. I'm still at 750. All right, we're getting close, I know that. All right, I think we're almost there. No, we're at 1,059. So much stuff, let me tell you. And when you can't remember the name of something, it's still a pain, even with any eye, to go through and look for everything that you need. Um, so the plan is to hopefully build a lot of the stuff you're seeing here, which uh, I think will be great. So we're going to build the pulverizer, which is there, and we're also going to build the powered furnace. Very similar in build. Need some bricks, redstone, a machine frame, another redstone reception coil, and some more copper. So... We're going to need lots of glass in order to get this done, because we're going to build that and that. And we'll probably build a sawmill, maybe even induction smelter, magma crucible. We'll see what we need here. And uh, an aqueous accumulator we're definitely going to need, and that needs a bucket, another machine frame. This needs a pneumatic servo, slightly different. Uh, as you can see, it uses iron instead of gold, and uses glass as well. So that's a few of the things that we're going to build. So let's see how our glass is coming. So we've got 10 glass, so that's a good start. Um, we're going to need some copper, so let's go ahead and get We'll start with 16 pieces of copper, and actually I'm going to build a second furnace here. So I'm going to grab a stack of cobble here, and we'll build a second furnace. And the reason we're going to build a second furnace is just because we got a lot of stuff to smelt up. Oh, I've already got a second furnace. Apparently we're building a third. So I'm just going to toss these back here. I'm going to toss them both down, actually. I'm going to grab a stack of coal, and uh, we'll toss half of it in each furnace. Oh, wait. Always hate that. Built one of these miner's backpacks, which I'll show you guys the recipe here in a moment, but it constantly grabs the coal. Like, it, I understand it's meant to grab stuff for mining, and that's terrific. I just wish it wouldn't grab stuff when you're grabbing it out of other things. So let's take a look at that miner's backpack, shall we? There's actually a lot of backpacks. For those of you that haven't played with um, factorization. Um, so here's the miner's backpack. This particular guy uses any type of wool, some string, iron ingot, and of course a chest. chest is really easy to build. You can have all of these types of backpacks if you want. They fit into a slot. You cannot put a backpack in a backpack, but they automatically soak up ores, which is kind of nice. So if you pick up ores off the ground, or you're mining them or anything like that, it will automatically pick them up, which is kind of nice. So now the other thing that we're going to need, we're going to need some gold. Now I have three pieces of gold, so I think we have enough there. Um, what else did we need for the pulverizer? We'll start there, and we'll build a couple extra machine frames. So pulverizer, we need flint, 
We need the redstone reception coil. We need copper. So let's get some copper, shall we? I've only got nine copper, so I need to use this sparingly. Um, I need two copper for the maciator, two for the furnace. So we'll do that. I haven't really found very much for copper. I haven't done a lot of digging at that level. So that's something we're going to need to do as well. Uh, as you can see, I've got a lot of different ores. Currently, we got our iron, our gold, the iron ingot, diamond, some redstone, which needs to go into the redstone storage, lapis, cinnabar, tungsten, aluminum, more aluminum, more aluminum, some quartz crystals, some crude oil. Amazingly enough, you can find that in just about any block. It's kind of neat. Monazite ore, a couple of stacks of bauxite, some, a little bit of copper, a couple of stacks of tin, some, oh, sorry, only 32 tin, wow. Some silver, some lead, and some ferrous ore. Now, I made some blue alloy ingots because I was planning on making some stuff. This stuff's kind of neat. These three particular gems. As you can see, I've got some red pickaxes and a sword. That's from Red Power 2. It's really terrific because you can build diamond-worthy pickaxes, weapons, things like that. Unfortunately, they don't last nearly as long. As you can see, this pickaxe is almost dead. Um, and I have three of them. And that's because I do go through them fairly quickly. Appetite. I haven't actually figured out what you're going to use this for. We have a few pieces. Got these sapphires. that are really rare by the looks of it. There's only two of them so far that I've found. And as you can see, they've got the same name as this. So I don't know if they're used for the same. I can't seem to build weapons out of these ones, but hopefully they're okay. I've got a silver ingot here. One piece of amber. Now, I have seen other ambers. I just haven't bothered grabbing them. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. I know where they are if I need them. We've got some shards. Um, this is used for Thomcraft. As you can see, they got lots of uh, various magic stuffs, which is kind of neat. We have some uranium. And, oh, we have some copper here. Nice. I wish I would have realized that before I uh, smelted up some more copper. Two different types of copper, actually. Well, hopefully they fix that. That's definitely something they probably weren't expecting, was to have the different types of copper. I bet you those six copper I found in, like, a chest or something. Um, so let's go ahead and make this sucker up here. We have everything we need, I believe. Uh, we got the iron. Yeah, okay. So let's start with the pulverizer here. I need to make a piston, which means I'm going to need redstone. So we're just going to look for redstone up here. We're just going to give it a smack, grab a whole stack. And I can almost guarantee you that it ended up in here. So we'll need to grab it out of there. And I'm actually going to put this thing away for a moment, because I'm going to be grabbing supplies, and I don't want to constantly have to grab them out of there. So what else do we need for the pulverizer? We need some flint. Now I believe flint is in this one. Yep, yeah, we'll grab two pieces of flint. Uh, what else? We need redstone and gold in the piston. Alright, we should be good. Let's start with the piston recipe. Everyone knows that, of course. It's a fairly simplistic recipe. Now, I'm actually going to need more than one piston. So, I will actually go ahead and make up a second piston, just in case I need it. And redstone. And there we go. Two pistons. So, now we go back to here. We need to make a machine frame, so we'll go like that. Put our piece of gold in there. Iron in the corners. And glass over here. Now you can see the recipes here even before I put them in because of NEI. Oh wait, I wanted to make another one of these. Which is kind of nice. It allows you to see the recipes as you're building them. And that is one thing that can be very valuable. Um, I've found that I can't remember recipes very well so it's nice to be able to just you know see what the recipe is as you're building it and then you don't really have to worry about it well I didn't make one of these okay well go back to this go to this hit that take this stuff out now that's where that other piece of copper goes gold sorry uh, I'm short of gold all right I'll have to make one more gold okay and then click that We'll put the copper in there, grab that, put that there, we'll put this here and this here, and the piston here. And we now have a pulverizer. So now our pulverizer, I think we're going to put that against this wall here. Now our pulverizer is going to go right here, I think that'll do, yep. Yeah. Now, as you can see with the pulverizer, it's kind of neat. It's got different colors on each side. There's even one on the back and one on the bottom. 
if we right click on it you can go to the configuration change these and they actually match these so this one we're actually going to want to be orange and there we go and the reason we want that to be orange is because we want everything to output to this side and so that way we don't have to worry about it we're going to make this blue and this is actually going to be blank and that's going to be blank as well okay and that way we have an input we have an output and that should do nicely now i think we also need to do that for power um i don't know i've never actually tried this is kind of neat you got redstone controls you can say redstone torch off redstone store torch on or no red store redstone at all needed now I'm actually going to set it to this so that signal requires low. So if it doesn't get a redstone signal, it'll work. If I put a redstone signal, it'll stop working. And the reason I'm going to do that is because that way I don't have to worry about it. Um, a lot of people will actually just turn this control off and then that way you never have to worry about it at all. As you can see, we need Minecraft jewels by the looks of it. That's uh, build craft power. So we're going to have to build an engine or something to go with that. Um, Judging by the state of our house, I really don't want to put an infinite water supply or anything in here. So, let's take a look at the engines. So these are our choices for engines up here. We've got the redstone engine, which isn't strong enough. We have a Sterling engine, a combustion engine, blue electric engine, which is what I wanted to use and we will eventually use. Biogas, peat fired engine, electrical engine, hobbyist steam engine, commercial steam engine, industrial steam engine, just a regular steam engine, and a magmatic engine. Now these particular type of uh, engines down here that you're seeing, those are actually for railcraft, uh, Steve's carts specifically. Um, that allows us to build specialty powered mine carts, which is kind of cool. But I think we're just going to start with a Sterling engine, and that's where I needed that extra piston as you can see. Now I'm actually just going to... Oh, I need to get out of here, go over here, go click. Now as you can see it's a fairly basic build. Um, first thing we need to do, and I'm actually going to do this while we have the recipes up, just because it's easier and I know what these recipes are. So what I'm doing is just making a couple of gears. We need cobble gears I believe. Uh, let me just double check that here. Yep, just cobblestone gears. And so now we'll take that and put that like that. Take our second piston, put it there. Take this, put it here. And just cobblestone along the top. And there we go, we got a Sterling engine. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to take the Sterling engine. And I'm going to put it, I'm thinking underneath actually. No, we'll just use the hoe because I don't really care about the hoe. Uh, we'll use the hoe here too. And and then our system should be right there and right here. Now the reason I took that second one off is because I'm going to want to um, get in there. And I'm actually going to do this here. Take out a second one. And take out this dirt. The reason is, well, I can't quite get out of here. I thought I could. No, that's a block and a half, so I'll actually need to take this out too. I forgot that I built that too high. So, there we go. So that's my way into the basement for now. We're gonna eventually, I think, going to make an actual basement in this house. Expand it, make it look a little prettier. Um, but now we have our engine, so we can take our engine and we can just slap it right there. Alright, so now we have full access. Now I need some piping. Piping is really simple to make. We just take some wood. Oh, I've only got one piece of wood left. So let's grab some more wood. So now we'll go like that. we we'll just go like that. We take a piece of glass and we stick it in the middle. Now this gives us eight wooden pipe. Take a single wooden pipe, put it with some redstone, and it's now conductive. Look at that, conductive piping. Now we just take that and put it here. 
and that connects to that. See, it's super simple. Now, unfortunately, we're going to need some more gold. Just four pieces ought to do us. So we're just going to smelt up that gold ore. And while we're waiting on that, we're going to go ahead and make the other item that we need. So, we did the pulverizer. The other one is furnace, I believe. It is a furnace. I just can't remember what it's called. Oh, great. I can't remember. Smelter? Nope. Um, why is it that I can never remember the names when I need them? Here we go. Well, look at that. It is a furnace. Alright. So, we need another one of these. Which... Oh, we need the gold for that. Okay. Well, I should have a piece of... Oh, look at that. All four golds ready. Okay. Well, we'll go ahead and make that anyway. Bam. So we now have the redstone reception coil. So, now if I go powered furnace... Real simple. I need some clay bricks. So, I do believe in here we have some clay. And we need to make clay bricks. That'll make two bricks. That'll make two bricks. That'll make two bricks. And like two and a half bricks. You'll notice that I'm trying to evenly distribute these among the various furnaces. That way it gets done just a little bit quicker. And we can go ahead and grab up some clay. So, that should give us two bricks anyway. I don't know why I made more bricks, but uh, we may need them in the future, so it's usually a good idea. So we'll do that, do that, and we'll put our bricks there, put that there. I have a tendency to always make more than you need, because you never know when you're going to need more. So now we have our powered furnace, and we can actually take our powered furnace and put it there. Now it has the same outputs and inputs and everything, so we're going to leave that as an input. We're going to put this as a uh, blank, and then we're going to move this and make it an output. Yes, and then I should be able to go with that. And the back is blank. Now you don't have to necessarily change those. I am a big fan of changing those. Um, just because then they're set up just the way I want. They look okay. And uh, I pr prefer it that way. Alright, so let's grab the last of these clay bricks. In case we need the ovens. I made a lot more than I needed, but... That's all right. I wasn't thinking when I made them, apparently. All right, so now the other thing that we need to make is we need to make some piping. So we just go like this, and then we glass in the middle, and that will give us eight gold pipes. And I'm going to make four of them into conductive pipes. So now we have conductive piping. Now I know that this engine doesn't quite put it up enough power, but we can add more to it later. For now, uh, at least we can get started using it. So I'm going to need a lever. And the plan here is we just take this lever and we put it there. I'm just going to get rid of this cobble for now. Oop, I did that wrong. There we go. And so I have a lever. I just need some of this. Alright, so we right click that. We put that in there. Click the lever, and this will get started. Now I'm going to let that warm up before we get started here because I want to get an energy buildup in both of these machines. And while we're waiting on that, we're actually going to build a hopper. So we take a look, and we have a hopper here. It needs a chest and a stone gear and five iron. So I have enough iron for that. So I have no chests, so we'll have to make one. But I do have some wood on me, so we can just make that chest up right now. 
All right, so we got our chest. We need our stone gear, and of course, I went and put back all of the cobble. So give me the cobble back. I was only going to put back part of it, but apparently I decided to put back all of it. That's how it goes sometimes, I think. So now we got our stone gear, which goes here. We have our chest that goes here. And then we put our iron in there. And there we go, we have a hopper. Now the nice thing about a hopper is it'll allow the pulverizer to take in more stuff. So when we're talking about that, we can click on it. You can see it's got four slots. As the pulverizer slot here opens, it'll dump more in, which is kind of nice. Now, I want to see if this engine's warmed up yet. Nope. So we'll give it a few more minutes here. So we've got everything I need to start with basic cooking anyway. Um, it appears that I'm all out of wood. So I'm actually going to take this chest here. And since it's empty. And we're going to set it over here. The reason we're going to set it over there is because we want this to output to orange, which is on that side. So it'll output right to the chest. And that way all of our smelted ores will automatically go into the chest. And we won't have to worry about backlog or anything like that. So now it should be warm enough to get started. So I'm actually just going to take a whole bunch of ores. We're going to click on here and we're going to go iron, 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 iron. So as you can see, our iron actually filled up machine, so we can go ahead and get rid of that. Alright, so now that's going to go ahead, it's going to pulverize, as you can see. And then it won't even show it here, it's automatically going to output it here, and it'll output two pieces, there? which is nice. Now once that's done outputting, it automatically gets thrown into the chest, and will automatically appear here. And that will keep everything running nice and smoothly. So that's the upside there, is the fact that, you know, we got a nice system here. We don't have to really watch it. Just check on it every once in a while. Make sure we got plenty of coal in this system. And, of course, turn it off when we're not using it. And that's really all we have to worry about there. So now, while that's running, as we can see, it's definitely using way more power than it's actually getting. So it's not running at full strength. We take a look here. Power usage, 1. Maximum power, 4. So it's going fairly slowly. We take a look here, it's only using 0.5 out of 2, so it's going slowly as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to build a second one. So let's see what we need. We need that, 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 and we're going to need more iron. Alright, so just give me a moment, it appears that Arclight is here. I didn't even realize he was on. Can you hear me Arclight? All right, it appears that TeamSpeak is muted, so just give me one moment. Disconnected. Connected. Can you hear me now? Microphone. Yeah, I, I can hear you. I just had my microphone muted, apparently. How's it going, sir? Just well, I took a bunch of your coal, and uh, you can go get, uh, if you want to for energy, you can go pick up a bunch of coke instead. No, don't use coke! What was that? I said, no, not coke! Well, fine then. I can go stop it. <laughs> no, you can keep it, that's not a problem. Is there a problem with coke? Well, f some of the systems that I'll be using won't, won't work on it. Unfortunately. Well, I'm only a little bit of creosote oil, but uh, I mean, if you want to make a bunch of charcoal, throw them in the coke ovens instead now. Well, yeah. I'm sure, they take a while, but. <laughs> oh, thank you for letting me know. Where's that? Is that located out by your place, or is that in a different building, or? No, that, that's in the big, giant, stupidly big building. Ah, the one that you were working on. Okay. All right, everybody. I want to thank you for uh, coming up for episode three. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Um, so we're going to go ahead and uh, send this off and uh, come back next time for the rest of it. We'll get it finished, add in the uh, rest of the piping, things like that. And uh, please let me know what you think of the episode.